In this video, we are going to talk about how to evaluate the niche or the category size for which you are planning to build an Amazon affiliate website. So if that sounds interesting, then let's dive in. Hi, my name is Ankit and welcome to Magazine 3 YouTube channel where we talk about everything related to WordPress. And if you want to learn more about that, then make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. So in this video, we are going to talk about five points that you can use to evaluate the category or the niche that you have selected to create your Amazon affiliate site. And number one is to select a category or a product which gives you a decent percentage. Now, as we know that there are n number of categories of products on Amazon, but the percentage of Amazon affiliate sale depends on what type of product you are promoting to sell on Amazon. For example, if you create a website which is based on home decor, then you will get the best percentage for commission. But if you promote categories like books and mobile phones, so they are some of the lowest percentage category for Amazon commission. So make sure you select a category or a niche which gives you a decent percentage of commission. Point number two. Make sure the products in your category or the specific products that you wish to promote in a blog post or in a video, make sure that it got some decent reviews. It should not be like all the negative reviews in it and it also should not have all the positive reviews. A product which got a mixed review is the best one to promote online. Point number three and this one is very important as we mentioned before. And it is based on the interest that you have in the category or the niche. So before you select your niche or your product category, make sure you understand the fact that you need to write 50 to 100 different blog posts. So you should be ready with that in your mind. So make sure you have a decent amount of passion in this category. At least if you are not an expert, you should know how to search about the topics that you are going to write and then create at least 50 to 100 piece of content. Point number four. Make sure the category or the products that you are selecting to promote on your Amazon affiliate site, they should be evergreen, which means that they should not be a specific for a festival or for a season. For example, a swimsuit will sell well in summers, but you will find no sale in winters. And same with a product like Halloween or Christmas. There is a very specific time when these kind of products sell well, but rest of the months of year will go blank. But you will find no sale in the rest of the months of the year. So make sure you choose a product which is evergreen and people are buying that product all year long. Point number five, do not stress too much on the niche. Now this one could be opposite to all the points that we have discussed before, but make sure you do not spend way too much time on a niche to select one. You can start the one which you feel that this is the one I should continue and then you can slowly and gradually niche down to a specific type of products. But of course, do not start with a very competitive and wide niche like health. That's a very vague and wide category and there is no way that you will be able to create an extra income source from this website. So make sure you choose a category which is not very specific. Like if you are creating a fitness website and you are only concentrating on dumbbells, your niche should be in a mediocre size so that you can talk about niche down products as well as general information about the category. So these are some of the points that you can check before selecting the niche for your Amazon affiliate site. If you like this video, then make sure you hit the like button and to watch more videos like this, subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. And if you need any expert help regarding your website, you can connect with us using the link given in the video description below. So that's it for this one and I'll see you in the next video.